Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here, and I've got some packages in the mail. So, um, uh, I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. Um, we have um, one Express Post package that was overnight, and one, two boxes. What I'll do, there'll be a couple of cuts because I'll do. I, I don't want this camera to time out, so. <laughs> And the screen saver to come on. Just being on a new computer, I don't know how it's going to um, react. So let's open the Express Post one first. Good. Always worry when people use the um, Express Post satchels. That they're going to get. Uh, just chuck the stuff in there. It's happened before. So, bo sorry, box has got the rest stuff all over it as well. So, I have to open it up over here. Okay, so we have lots and lots. Of these, um, I think might be 34 of them. So I um, I don't have the list in front of me, and I'm not going to be able to tell. So some of the titles. So I'll just hold up the individual ones. Well, now this one's obvious. R type. Now I already have a copy of R type, um, so that one's up for trade. Um, and I believe I have a copy of F1 Circus already. Then there's, there's only three repeats. Here we go, here's another shooter. I don't have this one. Sidearms. Um, another one I'm not going to know the name of at the moment. Sorry, I just had a couple of focus problems there. Might be the light in the background. Um, then we have a, a tennis one. I do have another tennis one. I'll have to double check whether I already have that one. So I got this for quite a decent price. Um, so there's 34 few cards in this lot. All loose. Uh, well, no, actually there, there are two that are in the cases, so not all loose. So there we go. Packland. Some sort of fighting game. A baseball game. A character based fighting game from Tato. We are having focusing problems, aren't we? Um, just trying to see. Oh, it's actually got. Champion Wrestler, so it does actually have a name, it's just written funny. Um, I reckon that's another beat em up of sorts, by the way the guys are posing. And uh, oh, Formation Soccer. Oh, another racing game that I don't have, Final Lap Twin. That F1 circus is actually quite a good game. A boxing game, perhaps. Second bout. A Klex, which is a puzzle game. Oh, awesome. Dragon Spirit, which is another shoot em up. And another shoot em up. Final Soldier. I mean, some of the those in um, I mean, in dual cases are like thirty or forty dollars on eBay. Um, Zip Pang. I wonder whether that's um, a Pang, you know, a Pang game with the zip in front of it. Um, now another one I don't know the name of, but it looks like probably a platformer. Probably the ones I don't know the name on it in a different file, so I can match them up with the names later. Uh, 
I'd say that's Alien Crush, the pinball game. So that's up for trade. And that one's worth a fair bit of money. Um, B ball. Oh, hang on. No, 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 that's that. So we've got one of them's Alien Crush, one of them's um, the, di the other, the other pin. So now I've got both pinballs. So that's awesome. So the one that I don't have, which is, I think that's the one I have. I'll have to check in a minute. Wow, I'm really excited about that one. <laughs> um, I would say this is a uh, an adventure type game. Quite interesting. A couple of adventures going up against a giant spider. And I reckon that's another adventure type game. A fighting game, Legend Bout. Um, no, no. Platformer or something, I reckon. And uh, another platform with some interesting looking characters there. Oh, a copy of Dungeon Explorer. I already have a copy of this, so that's up for trade. Um, super something. And similar character. Number two, it's obviously the sequel. Uh, something tricky. And clearly labelled Bomberman. That's a good game too. Now we also have two injured cases. So we have, it must be Shadow of the Beast. cover and the manual and uh, not too bad uh, Manic Pro Wrestling and um, last but not least in this um, thing is actually another PC Engine now it is li listed as not working now it's been uh, all they could get out of it was a white screen. Um, <coughs> there we go. Now it's been AV modded. And it's got its um, rear connector, which is good. It's a little dirtier than my existing one, so I do all the cleanup. So I will, I'll have a go at fixing it. So. Um, but of course, it'll also give me um, another power supply, another AV cable, and another controller. So Extremely dirty controller. <laughs> That's not white anymore. Anyway, I made good spare. But anyway, I will clean that all up and um, I'll have a go at seeing whether I can fix it. Alright, I'll uh, pause this section of the video, clean up the, um, the packing, and we'll move on to the next box. Let's go over our second package.
these ones will move along my um, one of my handheld collections. Now we'll start with the typical mall on the floor. But anyway, we'll start with the console, and it is a Game Gear. Um, it's another non-working one. I knew that when I ordered it, but it has all the covers. And um, as I said, I have another non-working game gear. Don't know exactly what's wrong with this one, so maybe between the two, I can get one working. So two pickups, two consoles to repair. But anyway, I think it's expected for game gear collecting. Um, and I, uh, I do note that Stig's Game Room actually has a new series of fixing game gears up. So check those out. Um, I have some manuals here. So we have. Jurassic Park, Ooh, big thick one, F1, uh, Castle of Illusion, the instruction manual for the Game Gear itself, um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and I think I might actually have that one boxed so that one might be a spare set of instructions. Uh, Double Dragon and Columns. And as far as the games are concerned, let's get the ones that. Right, so we actually have Double Dragon. And they're all in their little cases, too. We've got Sonic 2, so I believe that might be a trade. Um, until we're getting these cases open. Um, F1. So pretty much we've got a match for each of the manuals so far. Uh, Cast of Illusion. Which I didn't have for the game gear. Uh, columns. at this case as aren't I? Um, Jurassic Park, so all the ones we had the manuals for, and one that we didn't get the manual for. Still a nice game to get is Star Wars. So I got this lot for quite a reasonable price. Um, I said it was, you know, very clearly marked that the uh, actual unit was non-functional, so I wasn't stressed about that. <coughs> now, the next one. It's only got two items in there. Uh, I'm obviously not going to be able to have a play session on any of the Game Gear titles because I don't have a working one yet. So. But in here, we have an item for one of the uh, retro computers. There's something missing. know whether it's functional or not. Um, and it is a Commodore data cassette. So a little bit dirty, we'll have to give her a clean up. The cables, as the person mentioned, is a little damaged at the end. The plastic's gone there. Um, it doesn't seem to be any breaks there. Uh, I've got a few cracks there, but we do see all the pins seem to be connected. So we'll just have to wait and see um, whether we've got a working one. Otherwise we might have another thing to fix. But anyway, a data cassette uh, looks whole. It's better than no data cassette at all. And one piece of software. Not for the same system. It's interesting the random things people sell. So maybe they must have had one of each of these systems in the family at one stage. And it's another piece of software for the Spectrum. This is only like one or two dollars. So TasWord 2. It's a word processor for the Spectrum. Just nice because it was boxed. Got the manual. 
and the tape. It just expands out the, um, the software collection for the Spectrum, which is really nice. All right, that's the pickups part of the video. Um, I'll now do the gameplay part. Now, I'm not going to be able to play all of those um, Hugo games for the PC Engine, so I'll pick and choose. Um, you're probably in for a shoot 'em up fest, but I will put a couple of um, other games in there as well. All right, so on to the gameplay section. Right, so this one's listed as Necromancer. by Hudson Soft. Hmm, this could be a little difficult. So we have a um, an adventure game. Looks a bit like um, a Fantasy Star. We're probably supposed to go and get weapons and things like that before we get too carried away. Actually, I'd say it's almost exactly like Fantasy Star. adventure games on the PC Engine, um, it's a bit hard, you really need the um, Turbo Graphics 16 ones. So I don't know what the ones I'm doing here. So Necromancer, we'll say that one's like Fantasy Star and we'll need some instructions before I can get too much further. So this is Final Soldier. I'm guessing one in the Star Soldier series. <coughs> I'm being a shoot 'em up, of course. Definitely in my list of ones I want to try. So, yep, yeah, definitely in the Star Soldier family. Just have the single fire button. And now we've got a different weapon upgrade. Another level. Don't seem to be the coloured ones like in Superstar Soldier. I've got an Outrider. No, different weapon type, Lel. Flames. Oh, some of these power ups you really need to choose whether you really want them. Some missiles. The attack patterns aren't too hard. And... Oh, that's a bit of weapon. More like the blue bubbles in the um, Superstar Soldier. Couple of outriders now. Here we come for our first boss. That wasn't a too bad weapon to choose because I've <coughs> got a bit of an angle and obviously powered up with the missiles helped. I like the other Star Soldiers. Um, that's a mid-level boss, and then we'll be working our way to um, an end-of-level boss. Ooh. Yeah. 
have two of them. At least you can shoot most of what they're shooting at me. Just try and get as much firepower into them as possible. There we go, got rid of one. Letting the missiles do most of the work. Bit eaten. There we go. That wasn't too bad. And off we go into the warp. <clears throat> and then we go into a new zone. The game might be a bit easy to play on normal, but wow, good. Okay, he's Bomberman. Very popular series. I haven't played Bomberman for ages. Somebody's been kidnapped and I've got to rescue them. So we've got time another four minutes. And you plant bombs which um, explode and wipe out an area.
Oops. Obviously haven't played Bomberman for quite some time. Oops. <laughs> Blew myself up. Oh dear. A lot of this is in timing, which I obviously have done all. Oh my god, I killed somebody. You can only plant one bomb at a time. I've got something special there. Um. something there. Not sure what that blue thing's supposed to do. Now he's gone off. Now we've got to try and trap him. No. No, it's just going to go up and down there. Right. So in general principle they run away from you. Get your anything goes down that way. Yep. Right, so this is the exit and you've got to kill them all <coughs> before the time. Alright, sorry, haven't played Bomberman for quite some time. Awesome puzzle action game. Great graphics. Right, now we have Dragon Spirit, which is pretty much a straight arcade conversion. Sort of there. You've got both shooting of um, air targets and um, bombing ground ones, and then you can shoot eggs and open up things in there too. So we've got this is a little easier than the arcade game. I don't ever get to. I've got this on main, and I don't usually get very far. The controller probably helps though. Using, whoops, saying that gets killed. Absolutely. It's those trees that are shooting me. And when you get hit, uh, you um you lose your power up too. Better than dying though, I suppose. Um, oh, the angles are getting me all the time. 
So not very good at it, but that's actually quite a good shoot-em-up. Right, next one is more than probably a shoot -em up again. Um, called Sidearms. This arcade name now. This is another arcade conversion. Nice side by shooter. Whoops. <laughs> Number one fire button fires to the right, and your other fire button fires to the left. Oops. Shoot these larger fire bullets of earth. Okay, select is our first boss guy. Oops. Yeah, a bit hard to see where I was getting them not. Well, there you go, definitely on the playlist. Well, there you go, legendary axe. Bit of a surprise find. Jump. So it's a side scrolling platformer. Adventure type game. Reminds me a bit of one of the um, Sega Mega Drive Genesis games that we've got recently. Ooh, or the spider, of course. Oops. Can pick that up. Okay, some health. Let's see whether there's any other actions you can do. Looks like I might have to kill the spider to get out of here. I'm any good at it at the moment, I need a few more turns, but that looks like a very nice little game. So, Legendary Axe. Right, so this is Final Lap Twin. The arcade conversion. Oops. Oh, 
Okay, we select a car, we'll just go for the V8 car here. And I'll take it, we can play this two players potentially. Just playing against. So one's break. Can't tell whether I've got gears or not. So not a bad game in the pole position sort of style. Ooh, got our arms made it through there. Yeah, you got in the first place. Yeah, now I'm in second place. So the computer's a pretty good race overall, isn't it? It'll be great going to play with a mate. Ah, second. There you go, cool. So this is described as zip pang. I don't know anything about what I'm supposed to be doing, but graphics are looking pretty good so far. platform strategy game Alright, and you can headbutt other ones, right Oh, didn't know you could do that. Now, I don't know how. Right. Then create ones. So, a bit of a puzzly platform. Well, that's not a bad um, little game. I'll have to play more of that later. That's excellent. Now, just a little addendum to this video right now. See this here card here? Now, these were listed as the um, the person saying they'd never had the system working and all they could get was a white screen. When you plug a hue card in and you get a white screen, it means the contacts aren't contacting properly. Most of these have that problem. But all I do is I get a nice rubber eraser, rub them Back and forth cut times, get rid of the debris, pop them in the system, and they have all worked first go. And I'd say 
their system was fully working to start with, but they've now gotten frustrated with it and um, wiggled the connector. So I've had a look at it and the actual AV connector it feels like it's snapped off inside. So as soon as I get the security tools, which I need for the um, game, opening game gears anyway, I'll be opening up resolder that connector and I reckon I will have a, um, another working um, a PC engine. Still does not mean that I'll be able to play uh, wrestling and fighting games. <laughs> Alright, we'll leave that here for now. Thank you very much for watching today's video.